what is up guys um, so in this video I'll be going over my kayak rig setup that I usually have when going out I made a post on my story on my Instagram if you haven't followed follow me at DK underscore fish I'll put it down below uh, I put a question poll on my story asking <clears throat> you guys if you're interested in my kayak setup you know 95% said yes it was like that one person doesn't know which ended up being one of my friends <laughs> okay so yeah I'll go over my setup and let's get it going all right so here's my kayak it's a 2018 native watercraft Titan 12 rappel in a copperhead color just the overall view is that now we're going over from the bell the middle and the stern one by one we're starting with the bell <clears throat> so I made this little handle for me to carry like that awkward to carry like this especially when the kayak itself weighs 100 pounds naked with all the gear probably looking around 150 I believe inside the hatch uh, so I don't know if it's just with mine but I had a little problem the hatch wasn't insulated Unlike the 10.5 where it comes with the insulated hatch. I have some problem with water coming in in the hole from like the gaps right there and everything. So I just got this uh forgot what it's called, but I suppose it just clamps onto the frame with the little suction thing here. Inside I usually carry yeah. dry dry bag, my sunscreen, bug repellent, wallet, uh, extra miscellaneous stuff <clears throat> like batteries, uh, green and red lights for the bow, yeah just whatever stuff that I usually just keep, keep it in handy, extra carabiners and all that, and the Yak Attack LED light bilge pump in case I get water in the hole or on the kayak my anchor as my battery I use the uh, amp outdoors 12 volt 80 amp battery lithium ion I think it usually lasts good three trips maybe like eight nine hours each day here's my net um, Maybe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, it's okay. Here's my net. Um. So this is a custom DIY. So I bought the net. The handle was like that long, and just this part. So what I got was a one-inch PVC pipe. So I right in, glued it, and I got this uh, grip here. The grip is actually the batting tape grip. Working pretty well. It's still pretty grippy. There's that. Put off my propel drive. I just put an aftermarket uh, pedals. It's the Rock Bros pedals. Keep the rotor grip here for my net, all that. I keep a little rod holder here so that when I hook into a fish, because uh, I don't really have space for the other rod holder there, it just keeps it away and easier for me to take care of the fish and unhook and everything. Uh, so, over here, I have the custom handle. My next level design is my riding gear. It's a very awesome well 
awesome job with this. Smooth as butter. Turns on a dime as well. And I installed like a little bearing there so that the turning it's, helps turn a little more better. So my GoPro setup. <clears throat> I use a Yak Attack uh, a Boomstick Pro. It's a little aluminum case here. And for my chair, it's actually a custom. There's little two drawers that I can just pop open. Keep all my stuff in here with me. Pliers, scale, line, scents, sunglasses, whatever. The life jacket. I use the NRS Chinook life jacket. Pretty pricey, but it's worth the money. Uh, okay. And on my catch board, I used the 32 inch. Uh, it's heavy. And my cooler, this goes back in here. It just sits per perfectly flush. For my wheels, I used the <clears throat> native uh, Sidekick wheels with the Real Blaza C-Tug wheels. And I just put like a little grip tape there for me to, so it makes it easier to turn and push it in when I'm out on the water. My hands tend to get slippery without it and you have to flush it into the hexagon shape, so. Okay, for my crate, <clears throat> it's a DIY. Uh, I use, uh, it's about a Dewalt toolbox from like your local hardware store home depot lowe's whatever and put my jacket in there that's usually how it is i usually keep three tackle case it's like all my main stuff today i threw a swim bait so i have my swim bait box my terminal tackle torpedo battery and my uh multi-purpose battery i charge my gopro with it so it just stays recording throughout the whole trip. Let me throw some holes for the wires to stick out from. Looks good. I installed eight rod holders. Uh, I usually bring about six, but if I'm fishing a new lake or if I'm not sure what to use, then I'll do a. I'll bring eight. There's a custom as well. I just got a PVC pipe to make some little space here. So the rods doesn't hit the hit the top of this. And just the standard rod holders. I have the Birdly Pro uh, Native Titan steering upgrade. Works tremendously. And here's my trusty Torquedo. It's the 43 AC. Has a little hyd hydro dynamic thing that I came with when I bought from the guy. <clears throat> also, it's a must need, the boondocks right here. Makes a big difference compared to the stock one. I do have an acorn trolley, but I don't really use it. It just came with the kayak. Um, Keep my paddle there, sits in there flush. I might throw it bottom out. <clears throat> and I like using the RAM uh, sidearm transducer because my transducer for the Lawrence HCA7 Live uh, doesn't fit under the kayak for some reason. It's too big. So I ended up getting the sidearm transducer, which really helps a lot actually it's easier for me to store if i'm launching i can just keep this up don't have to worry about scraping the bottom of this especially when you car top on a prius yeah so like i said it's the lorance hds 7 live and i think that covers everything yeah so this is my full rig tour of my native watercraft titan 12 propel make sure you hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't also follow me on instagram at dk underscore fish 
and we'll see you guys in the next one.